What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Steve from Printing Gang Investments back with another video. And you know, with all the things going on in Israel, the market correction, market dip, market crash, if you're a bear, whatever you want to call it, I just wanted to, you know, remind all my shareholders, Palantir shareholders, shareholders of other AI stocks, your AMDs, your NVIDIAs, your Taiwan semis, your crowd strikes, your snowflakes, your uh, sales forces, all the AI stocks, Microsoft, the large language models. Um, I just want to remind everybody what we're in this for. Like a lot of people hear about AI and they don't really understand what it's gonna do, where the money's at. So this is a different reaction. This is Dame Dash actually. And he's a hip hop guy, so he's not a stock guy. And of course he's not talking about Palantir directly, but I feel like the things he's saying got a lot to do with Palantir. So we are gonna start this reaction. AI, how do you think AI is gonna affect hip hop? Mm, hip hop? Like, you know, chat GBT, people are sitting there, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, yeah, I'm trying to process. Um, I think that chat GBT as relates to lyrics, I don't know that that will help, but you know, it's cheating. But I think that if an uh, artist wants to be a boss and put his own stuff out, chat GBT can organize a lot of business for them, like make decks and, you know, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. If you know how to I, use chat GBT, yeah. it can help a boss cut a lot of costs. If Boom. It's dependent on people to give you a job. You hear what my boy just said? Even he's seeing it. Now, that's interesting because it's actually, that's our same bull thesis on Palantir. Dame Dash just said it a lot simpler than we said in the stock world. It helps a boss cut a lot of costs. You feel me? That's exactly what Stephen Cohen said last week. He says people are coming with large language models telling him he can save millions and millions of dollars a year. And the bigger your company is, the more money you're going to save. If you're a small business like Dame Dash, it's going to help you save money on a smaller scale. If you're a huge business like Coca-Cola, it's going to make you save money on a bigger scale so i'm just noticing how businessmen in all classes of all sizes are reacting to this thing so we got a train going by and all that but we're gonna continue it might take your job it depends on how you look at it there's a yin and a yang of everything there's a dark and a good of everything you know what i'm saying so so if dame today is 22 years old how would you leverage AI today in hip-hop? If it's a 22-year-old dame? There would be no assistance, you know what I mean? I'd be writing my own deck. How much notes, you know, even down to like Zoom and AI while you do Zoom and all, just the things that, the little things, a lot of little things, and also organizing my thoughts. So like if I have a treatment and I want I wouldn't have to hire someone to write a treatment, I could have it write it for, mm -hmm. there's a lot of things that if you know what AI does as a boss, mm -hmm. you can eliminate costs. So if I look at AI, my perspective is, how much cost can I eliminate by using AI? So there's time, instead of paying a lawyer to write a legal letter, I just go to AI. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. If mm -hmm. there's some facts I need to mm -hmm. know. You have to be smart to know how to use AI. Like, if you're good at movies, you can make scripts with it. It doesn't mean it's writing it for you. It just organizes it for you. If you know how to, uh, if you're in the movie business, you can, instead of hiring a line producer to break a script down, you could just have it break a script down. So it takes a lot of the little jobs away that cost 1200 here, 1500 here, just to take notes or just to organize or just to break things down. It does a lot of that for you. So on the want, creative side, you don't think it's going to... So, gonna... you heard what my boy Dame Dash said. Basically, he said if he was a young up-and-coming entrepreneur, like all of us, well, not all of us, a lot of us out here, he said he'd be using AI to cut those small costs. You heard what he said. He said again, it helps a boss save costs. What he said, all those twelve hundred, fifteen hundred dollar costs that you have in business, he'd have AI doing for him. AKA, whoever got them jobs, uh oh, you feel me? And as us, as stock investors, all those little twelve, fifteen hundred dollar things he's talking about, and all the people who's gonna lose their jobs, um, or learn how to use AI, where's that money gonna go? To us, the AI stock shareholders, you feel me? So it's getting real simple. We starting to see what this thing's really about. Like as far as the regular person use case, we're still looking for a killer regular person use case. But as far as businesses, it's about saving money, cutting costs, increasing the revenue. And on the defense side, like with what Palantir got going on, it's about keeping the countries and their allies safe. You just saw what happened with Israel in the military strike. I'm not saying it was Palantir, but I'm pretty sure it was some Gotham involved in targeting all those missiles, making sure they didn't hit. 
So I just wanted to just show you guys from how people are feeling about AI, maybe not just investors per se, because we always listen to investors, traders, things like that. But I just wanted to want you guys to hear what like regular businessmen are talking about smaller and mid-range businessmen are saying about this thing and you know just give me your thoughts what do you guys see as the use cases for ai you know what i'm saying but you know this is just another video your boy steve printing gang investments i'm gonna be back soon